Hey guys, welcome to a new series called Finally Explained Fridays. We are explaining in detail about one of Minecraft's features. Today I'm going to be explaining how the F3 menu works. The F3 menu is more officially known as the debug screen and consists of two main sections. Let's break down the first section into five lines. They are the Minecraft status, chunk information, entity information, particle information, and multiplayer cache. In the first line of the first section, we have the Minecraft version you are running. When Mojang updates the game, this will change. Next you have the frames per second. To explain the FPS, you need to remember that your computer screen displays a lot of pictures, which change very rapidly to give the illusion of motion. The amount of pictures your computer shows every second is the frames per second. The higher this number the better, because you will have a smoother motion. 30 FPS is when it starts to look like motion to the human eye. This is roughly the amount of frames per second in my Minecraft videos. If you are a serious gamer, you usually want to have it at least 60 frames per second for perfect motion. The chunk updates is how many times something has changed in a chunk in the last second. Simplified, it is how many times blocks have been broken, changed or placed in the last second. As you see, when I break or place blocks, the chunk updates number increases, while placing water will update a lot of blocks, so the chunk update number increases a lot more. The next line is chunk information, and the numbers on this line are quite confusing because they are the amount of render passes rather than the amount of actual chunks. The first number to the C label is the amount of chunk sections which have been rendered. This number does not include chunks behind you. The game only renders chunks when you see them. The second number is the total number of chunks all around you. The second number will change when you change render distance as there is less chunks to render. The label F is the number of chunks which have been loaded into memory but are outside the viewing distance so they haven't been rendered. The label O is a little more complicated. It refers to the amount of chunks which should have been rendered but aren't because they are covered by something. This is called Oculus Culling. A lot of the time it is set to zero, but you can sometimes see it has a value where a chunk has been covered, but to save on performance the game removes it. The E label is the amount of empty chunk sections. They are skipped from rendering because they have nothing in them or they haven't been loaded into memory yet. All these chunk numbers are mainly for mod developers and Mojang. Most of them don't affect the player at all. An entity is any dynamic or moving object throughout the Minecraft world. When you have a lot of entities, it tends to lag your game. Entities include mobs, items, and paintings. On the third row, the E label is the amount of entities which are rendered. These include mobs in caves, paintings, and any items. The number usually goes to zero when you're facing up on the surface, because there usually isn't any entities in the sky. The second number is the total number of entities in memory. These can be above, below, in front, behind, or on either side of you. The B label is any entities which have been removed because the chunk they are in is hidden. The I label is the number of entities which have been removed for any other reason. Both of these numbers are usually at zero. On the fourth row, you can see the amount of particles which are on the screen. The number increases when you break a block because there are a lot of particles which explode out. The T variable is another weird one. It has the word all next to it, with a number which appears to be equal to the total entities on the above line. The multiplayer chunk cache is the amount of chunks currently loaded into memory. This is another confusing number. In simple terms, it's the amount of chunks that the Minecraft server has told your computer. When you join a server, the server usually responds with information about 441 chunks. This is because the server responds with a square grid of chunks in a radius of 10, giving a grid of 21 by 21 chunks, which means there is 441 chunks because that is 21 squared. The multiplayer chunk cache is still relevant in the single player world because the single player world acts very similar to a server client connection. The next section in the debug menu has coordinates, lighting, and speed information. The X and Z coordinates refer to how far away you are from the center of the world. The Y coordinate refers to how far away you are from the bottom of the world. Both X and Z coordinates have values and a rounded value in parentheses. Next to that, you have the distance from the center of the world in chunks and the location of you in that given chunk. The Y coordinate has a measure for your position of your feet and a measure for the position of your head. The F label gives you information about the direction you are facing. The first number is either 0, 1, 2 or 3. Each number refers to a cardinal direction such as north or east. Next you have the actual cardinal direction which is probably based off the sun's rising and setting pattern. 
After that, there is a direction in degrees notation, except it is counted from negative 180 to positive 180, instead of the usual 0 to 360. I'm afraid I can't tell you much about the LC label, because there isn't good documentation of it. As far as I can tell, it's talking about the highest non-air block in the chunk you are in. It is strange, because it is always a multiple of 16 minus 1. If anyone knows information about this, leave it in the comments and I'll put up an annotation of it now. The B label is the biome you are currently in. BL is the block lighting value at the character's head. Block lighting is any lighting which comes from a block. If you stand directly above a torch, the block lighting will read 13 because it is a value at 14 at your feet where the torch is, but once the light gets to your face it decrements to 13. SL is the sky lighting value at your character's head. At night this value doesn't change as it is referring to the value of light if the sun was up. The raw light number is the result of the previous two numbers put into Java's max method. In simple terms, it is the highest of the two. The walking speed and flying speed labels never seem to change. There isn't much documentation on these either. The G label is true when the player is standing on a solid block, and false when your player is jumping, flying, or falling. FL is the Y coordinate of the highest place a character can stand. This is either directly above him or exactly where the character is. When I walk here, you can see that my Y coordinate is exactly the same as the FL value. But when I go below, you can see that the Y coordinate is previous values because I could be standing above. Thank you all for watching, and please let me know what you think of the new series. If you would like me to explain something in Minecraft, leave it in the comments. Until then, see you next time.